Download the free practice worksheet on this topic or take a practice quiz at mathcation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another awesome math video from Mathcation. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to solve systems of equations by elimination. As you can see, there are four important things that we need to remember when solving systems by elimination. The first step is that you're going to multiply the equations so that a variable will cancel when adding. It doesn't matter which variable cancels, it could be the x variable or the y variable. What is important is that once you add, one of them will go away or be eliminated, which is where the elimination method gets its name. The next thing you're going to do is add the equations to cancel one variable and then solve for the other. So like I said, if you cancel, so it doesn't matter if it's x or y that you're canceling, you just need to solve for the opposite one. So obviously if you cancel x, you'll solve for y. If you cancel y out, you'll solve for x. After that, you use your solution to substitute back into one equation for the other variable. So once you get your solution, you'll take that solution and you'll substitute back into one equation. And you can pick either equation. You can pick whichever one you think will be easier to solve. After substituting, you will solve for the second variable using the order of operations. And then finally, your answer has to be an x and y coordinate. So you'll get a solution where you have x equals a number, y equals a number, and that's going to be your x, y coordinate for your solution to that system of equations. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. Alright, let's go ahead and get started on our first practice problem on solving systems by elimination. This first system gives us two equations. We have 3x minus y equals 7 and then negative 2x plus y equals 2. So this is our system. What we're going to do is evaluate the system and see if we need to multiply either equation by any number so that when you add straight down, one of the variables will cancel. Now in the case of this system, I can tell by looking at the y's that they will cancel without having to multiply at all. So this first equation gives us a negative 1y, so there's a 1 there even though it's not written, and the second equation gives us a positive 1 y. This means that if we were to add those together, negative 1 plus positive 1, we would get 0y and the y's would cancel. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to draw a line here and I'm going to add these two equations straight down. So 3x plus negative 2 is positive 1x and then negative 1x plus positive 1x is 0y and then 7 plus 2 is 9. So this y, because it's a 0y, these are canceled, and this does not exist. So I'm just going to rewrite this as x equals 9. And that's going to be our solution, because 1x is just equal to x. So now that I know x is equal to 9, I can take this 9, and I can substitute it back into either equation for x. I'm just going to pick this first one. So this first equation is 3x minus y equals 7. So I'm going to take this 9 and it has to get substituted back in for x. And the reason I'm substituting in for x is because 9 is equal to x. If 9 was equal to y, it would, go, it would get substituted in for y. But in this case, we know it's equal to x, so I'm going to substitute in for x. So we're going to say 3 times 9 minus y equals 7. Well, 3 times 9 is 27, minus y equals 7, and then I have to solve for y, so I'm going to subtract 27 on this side, and subtract 27 on that side, so these go away. Now I have negative y equals 7 minus 27, well that's negative 20, and then the y is negative and it has to be positive, so I need to cancel that negative by dividing both sides by negative 1, so that cancels. And then negative 20 divided by negative 1 is positive 20. So now we know x is equal to 9 and we know y is equal to 20. So our solution has to be an x and a y coordinate. So we're going to say 9 for x 
and then y is 20. So that is going to be our x and our y coordinate. That is a solution to this system of equations. Moving on to the second practice problem on using the elimination method. This problem gives us 3x plus 5y equals negative 2 and 2x minus y equals 3. Now this time if you were to add straight down nothing would cancel. So our x wouldn't cancel and our y wouldn't cancel. What we have to do is we have to pick one of these and multiply so that when you do add straight down one of the variables will cancel. In the case of this system the easiest thing you could do is, is multiply the bottom equation by 5. And the reason it's easier to multiply the bottom equation by 5 is because if I multiply by 5 we would have a positive 5y and then we would have a negative 5y. And then when you added those y's would cancel. So I'm going to multiply all parts of the equation by 5. So I'm going to draw a parenthesis here and I'm going to say this whole side times 5 and then on this side this whole side times 5. Now 5 times 2x is 10x minus 5 times y so that's 5y equals 3 times 5 which is 15. This equation has now been transformed into this equation. So 2x minus y equals 3 is now 10x minus 5y equals 15. Now we have to add this second equation to our first equation. So I'm going to rewrite the first equation 3x plus 5y equals negative 2 right below it and then we're going to add straight down. When I do that I have 10x plus 3x so we're going to add 10x plus 3x is 13x. Negative 5y plus positive 5y well those cancel and you're left with 0y and then 15 minus and then 15 plus negative 2 is 13. So now we have 13x plus 0y equals 13. We have to solve for x so we're going to divide both sides by 13 and now we have x equals 1. So that's one part of our xy coordinate. I have to take this x equals 1 and substitute it back into either equation to solve for y. I'm just going to pick this first equation. So I'm going to rewrite it 3x plus 5y equals negative 2. I know x is equal to 1 so I'm going to take this 1 and substitute it in for x. So we're going to say 3 times 1 plus 5y equals negative 2. 3 times 1 is 3 and then we have to solve for y. So we're going to subtract this 3 from this side. We have 5y equals negative 2 minus 3 because whatever you do to one side you also have to do the other. So negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5. And then to solve for y we get rid of the coefficient by dividing by 5 to both sides and we get y equals negative 1. So our xy coordinate is going to be x is positive 1 because we had x equals 1 and then y is negative 1. And that's going to be the solution to this system of equations that we got by using the elimination method. Finally our last practice problem on solving systems by elimination gives us the system of x plus y equals 4 and 2x minus 3y equals 18. Again we're going to multiply an equation so that when you add a variable will cancel. You can get rid of the x variable and this system you can get rid of the x variable or you can get rid of the y variable. It's going to be up to you. If I wanted to get rid of the x variable I would multiply times negative 2 because I would want a negative 2x here so that the x's cancel. If I wanted to get rid of the y variable I would multiply times a positive 3 so that it would be positive 3y and negative 3y and they would cancel. I'm going to multiply to get rid of the x. So I'm going to take this first equation and multiply everything times negative 2. So times negative 2 and then times negative 2. So negative 2 times x is negative 2x. I'm just going to rewrite it down here. And then negative 2 times positive y is negative 2y equals 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. And that's the first equation rewritten after it's been multiplied. So we're going to add those together. We have 2x plus negative 2x. Well that cancels and that's 0x. So that goes away. And then negative 3y plus negative 2y 
is negative 5y equals 18 plus negative 8 is positive 10. So to get y by itself from here, so we now we have negative 5y equals 10. We have to get rid of this coefficient, so we're going to divide by negative 5 to both sides. And you get y equals 10 divided by negative 5 is negative 2. So that is the first part of our xy coordinate. Now I can take this negative 2 for y and plug it in into either equation to solve for x. I'm going to plug it into the first equation. So I'm going to rewrite the first equation. We have x plus y equals 4. I'm going to take this negative 2 and substitute it in for y right here. So we have x plus, this will now be negative 2 equals 4. And I can rewrite that as x minus 2 equals 4. And then to get x, we're going to add 2 to both sides. So these 2's cancel. And we have x equals 4 plus 2, which is 6. So our xy coordinate for this system is going to be x is 6, and then y is negative 2. So you have to have both parts in order to have your solution to your system. And we solve this system by using the elimination method. And if you want to download the free practice worksheet or do some more practice on solving systems by elimination, go ahead and click the link in the top right part of this video to be taken to some quick practice problems that will grade itself and tell you how you did. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me if this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya!